Welcome back. If you're looking to catch a film this weekend, there's one in particular that entertainment reporter Jim Ferguson says that you should not miss. Good morning, Jim. Well, a very good morning. Our Hollywood happening today goes back a few weeks when I reviewed the film Marshall, which is still playing in some theaters. It's based on a true story about Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall, played by Chadwick Boseman, who some critics believe deserves an Oscar nomination. In one of Marshall's early cases, a black chauffeur named Joseph Spell, played by Sterling Brown, was accused by his white employer of sexual assault. A Golden Globe winner, Sterling Brown, was just outstanding in this role. As, as an actor, Sterling, is there any added pressure to play a character that, uh, that lived uh, to, to get it right about him? Uh, possibly, but in, in my mind, all characters are real people. Yeah, yeah. Like you try to treat everyone as if they are a human being whose story is worthy of being told, whether they're fictional or factual. Um, probably more pressure in playing someone that the public is more familiar with. Uh, in the case of Christopher Darden, people had seen footage of him in the case you know, trying O.J. Simpson. No one knew who Joseph Spell was. So while he was a real man, it was left more to my imagination to create. Exactly, and what yeah. you did as an actor was you played him as if the world was against him, and it was, yeah. except for a couple of people, like Thurgood Marshall and Sam Friedman. Correct. Yeah. No, he, he was, if there were, ever there was a rock and a hard place, uh, Joseph Spell was definitely in that because he had consensual sexual relations with Eleanor Strubing, and then she lied. Mm -hmm. She said that she was raped and that he tried to kill her. And so he's placed in a position where he has to keep silent because if he admits to the truth in his mind, the repercussions can be worse than, than being incarcerated. Talk about the, be, being between a rock and a hard place. Uh, I think, from the film at least, uh, that Thurgood Marshall was his ray of hope. Yeah. I think it took Thurgood to convince him that his freedom was worth fighting for. Mm -hmm. That this was a man who was going to be content to stay in jail and live out the rest of his days. But it took this black man, this, this Thurgood Marshall, to say, your freedom, even though there may be other things that you have to deal with, better to deal with them on your own two feet rather than locked up like a caged bird. Mm -hmm. yeah. If there was an award during the Oscars for best scene of the year, hmm. you would certainly be nominated for your scene in the courtroom about telling the truth. That was dynamic, Sterling. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Unfortunately, there's not, but I appreciate it. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Yes. That was a, a wonderful <clears throat> scene. No, it, it is because this man has been sitting on the truth and has been lying this whole film. And he's finally forced into a position where, all right, if you want to know, I'm going to tell you. And that kiss truth actually ultimately sets him free. My great granddaddy, he was a slave. We're not slaves now, are we? We've got weapons we didn't have before. We've got the law. Baby, you go into these towns, we've never seen a Negro lawyer. Hey, boy! You need to be careful. NAACP. Very good. You're going to Connecticut. Joseph Spell, Negro servant attacked socialite in her own bedroom. This case will show the world if a color man can get a fair trial in the United States. There's only 13 million Negroes depending on you. Don't any of you have any confidence in me? I'd say you have enough confidence for us all. I only represent innocent people, people accused because of their race. That's my mission. I never touched that woman. I need a partner who the jury can relate to. Sam Friedman. Good to meet you, Sam. Hey, give me a hand with these, would you? What have you got in here, cement? Guns. Books, Mr. Friedman. You just sweep through town, stirring up all kinds of ugliness. My life is on the line here. Hey, Attorney Friedman, hold on a minute. What do you want? You're one of us now, Sam. A real fighter. Step away, you can't take the heat on the battle. Well, as I said in my review a few weeks ago, Marshall is a courtroom thriller. 
that explores the story of power, fear, and racial injustices in the days leading up to World War II. If you missed it in theaters, I recommend you see it on DVD. It's rated PG-13. My grade, I gave it a deserving A. Well, also opening today, The Disaster Artist, directed by James Franco, and stars Eliza Koop and Zoe Deutsch. I'll see you right here next Tuesday on The Morning Blend with the star of the comedy just getting started, Renee Russo.